Walking in the damn place. <laughs> and he got all these dumbass niggas in that shit. Building shops in this motherfucker. You know the barber got an actual mop. Some shit that look like a mop. That's a brush that make they shit like that. Yeah, it's this magic thing that they get. Yeah. Yeah, but he started that dumb shit. Then D Rose started trying. I'm like, let's I'm like, how do you get millions of dollars and then still be a follower? Uh, I just, I don't understand. Because the the the, the slouch look, the bomb look is in. That's how these niggas dress now. You wear some tight ass pants, or they just wear some some jam jeans that's all ripped the fuck up. The males and the females do that. They wear some jeans. They pay eighty dollars for some jeans that's cut the fuck up and ripped. Like, why don't you just take your own Levi's and cut them up with some scissors? You're going to pay $80 for it. <laughs> Levi's is like, man, I'm like, Levi's is tripping. They went up on price. I'm like, hey. They was uh, like, what? Well, hey. Like, damn, some regular damn pants? You going to do this to me? <laughs> yeah, nigga, because they know. They know the people that grow those they don't want to they don't be participants. They, they know. Levi's. And the Gap and Banana Republic is like the only damn stores you can go to and get some old pants. You just like a white boy. I ain't got no damn choice. <laughs> I right. go up in the so called uh, black stores, they got lizards on their ass everywhere. I don't want to walk around with a lizard on my ass. I'm straight. <laughs> with rash stones and shit. <laughs> that ain't how I do my thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I saw one dude, man. He looked ridiculous. I was like, man, the pants were so tight on him. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, nah, he could barely sit down. And then he tried yeah, to sag know. the pants. I'm like, you can't sag no tight I'm pants like, like that. They trying to force the slim shit to fit on the world. And I'm like, dude, this shit is not made for African Americans. Now, if you a skinny nigga like Lupe or like, uh, like Lonnie G, you can do that, but the average black man is not no skinny ass nigga like that. Your body structure not built for you to be walking around in no fucking hunches like that. Exactly. I'm like, dude, if you gotta jump to get in your pants like a woman, don't you feel like a bitch doing that? Right. I'm like, if you gotta lay on your bed to try to get the yeah, pants on, yeah. you should probably shouldn't be but, wearing them. But see, don't see these these niggas. Be way my man, but his niggas like him and LeBron. The red thing you use these niggas to, to sell this bullshit. <laughs> and I'm like, well, Steph Curry can wear that shit. You got a hundred pounds. You don't know, no big ass bitch in three plates trying to wear some small feet. It don't work like that. <laughs> they don't make that for you. I want some skinny yeah. jeans. I yeah, like that. Right. You got thighs like Maurice Jones Drew. And you are. <laughs> You're trying to wear some some tight jeans. They ain't designed for you. Well, that's what they do. The fags always been the designers anyway, and so they just force the cool. And when all you got to do is just get the right niggas to endorse the shit, and here you go. Just like this two-tone shit. Right, man. And that shit looks gated. That's what it is. That's shit. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, you got one color your jeans light and the other one dark on the same side. Oh, that? Oh, yeah. That stuff was played out when it came out. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, they going back it's to like cross right. colors? <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. No, nah, they all trying to do this hipster shit. That's why I'm like, it's an identity complex. Like yeah. all you motherfuckers trying to dress like white boys and all these white motherfuckers trying to be niggas. Y'all motherfuckers are fools. Y'all yeah. sitting here talking about y'all hate hunkies, but y'all out here doing everything hunkies do. You get sleeves like them, you dress them like them, you party like a rock star, you pop them pills. Yeah. You a fool me, you ain't trying to be no hunky. <laughs> That's right. Did you see the, oh, did you see the Knicks? 
Did you see the Knicks playing? I don't like. I see why they down all these points. Who is all these white boys they got on the team? <laughs> nah, I just uh, shit. I'm on my way home. No, I'm talking about you seen them play this year. Period. Oh yeah. Who are all these white boys they got on the team? I'm like. I know Przingis, but everybody else, I'm like, who is this dude? What is he doing out here on the court? I told you a long time ago, nigga, since they can't get no homegrown white boys, they gonna do the shit through the European. They gonna get some white back out here on this foot. Why the fuck you think they changed all the damn rules that's like the European play? So they can bring these white motherfuckers over here and the game don't be physical no more. Why you think they making they ain't making can't do shit no more? Yeah, but I see the Knicks ain't going to be nothing but 500 forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Knicks, they can only be 500. Oh, no. Oh, they going to make the playoffs? Oh, yeah, they'll get in the offs because the whole East is just a joke. But they'll get in the offs. I'm just saying, they ain't going to never be nothing past 500. That, the way they play, oh, my God, they don't even run plays. It's just like, yeah, go on in there and run. It's, Nigga, don't too many teams run plays. Motherfuckers play rake ball. Yeah. The only play they run is screen and roll. The yep. nigga comes to the peak and they gon' roll. That's it. They don't run no double screen. San Antonio about the only team that still do that. That's Those true. They run a couple of plays. Yeah, like I saw them run a play the other night. I was shocked. But then Draymond was on the team running it. So I said, oh, okay. It makes sense. Yeah, but no. Nah. You watch the NBA game, all them niggas gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be a nigga, the guard gonna have the ball, the nigga gonna come at the top of the key, set a pick, and he gonna screen the road. He gonna either shoot the jump or try to go to the basket and throw it to them. Everybody running the same set, the same way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's the same and the old thing. Just, and then the teams that ain't shit don't even try to do that. They just play a race ball. Well, that's the norm. But then you got the Bulls. I don't know what they finna do because Jimmy Butler got to take over the game. And that's that's how he got to no, play. No, that's what, they, that's what they waiting on. That's why I keep playing. What game with y'all think he is? Y'all niggas straight to the way he said, okay, we got the soft schedule. I'm finna take a couple of games off. That's what the shit went down here. He's looking like, man, nigga, these some cools. You can't do them by yourself. He's supposed to be your 40 night. I just you can't know, believe they lost to Dallas. <laughs> I was like, how, what, how did you that, lose to Dallas? That's what I'm saying. That's, and you say they lost by 20. Nigga, that's a game you're supposed to be killing you. Nigga. They lost to the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, that's all that. But Wade didn't play. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wade was like, okay, we got these cools. I can stick them up the game. And I can save myself for the, for the real nigga. He like, okay, we didn't beat Cleveland. I can chill. I'll be back from San Antonio. Yeah, yeah that's what he was they need Wade yeah, on the court. <laughs> and then Rondo, I, I, I don't know what happened with Rondo, but whatever happened, <laughs> you knew, you know he had time, Bob. No, what happened was they lost to Dallas. That's when he snapped. You know he didn't want to lose to them. <laughs> damn, come on, kicked his ass off the team. He damn sure wanted to beat them. <laughs> and I was like, well, he you know, did something detrimental you know, to was, the team. He was yeah, suspended. that game was marked off. Yeah, but no. That shit ain't had nothing to do with that, motherfucker. You should have been able to beat them without Rondo. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> keep talking about you, Jimmy Butler. I keep hearing all this shit about you, the Nick. And Rose had to go. Well, well show me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a fuck how Rose played now. I know what he was in his prime. And your ass ain't never going to be close to that. He was in his prime. It wasn't no deep rolls. I don't know if he gonna do anything tonight. He was watching CTV. He was busting all these motherfuckers at. Yeah, I mean, he's still putting up 20-something, but he ain't gonna get you... 
He ain't gonna get you no, no but, ten rebounds a game no more. And, nah, but that was my point. When that nigga was on, he was getting his twenty thirty a night, and wasn't nobody fucking with him. Oh yeah, so yeah. Well, he you, was. So you said, but I'm no, I'm saying you saying you that guy. Well, let me see it, motherfucker. You be talking all this shit. Now, brother ain't garbage. I mean, but no, I never said he was garbage. What I be, be trying to tell you and still is. He's a 17 and 19 point nigga. He ain't no 25, 30 point nigga. He ain't that nigga. He's a good nigga to play defense and be complimentary. He ain't no nigga to say, okay, here's the ball, go get us for it. He'll get a couple of games like that, but he ain't that nigga to do it every night. He keep telling himself he is, but he ain't. <laughs> he gotta work too hard to score. Like, he don't have no moves to score. Like, Carmelo and them, them niggas know how to score with like two little jab steps to just create sticks and get a shot off. He don't know how to score like that. Everything he do look hard. Like that nigga is spending too much energy. Like he'll catch the ball on the top of the key, he'll dribble all the way around the fucking court to get to the hole. He can't just get by a nigga like that. He gotta work too hard. I mean, he a good player, but. He ain't finna do no shit like Thompson did. I don't care if they laid off the back. He ain't got no shot like that. Yeah. Then yeah, Steve no, Smith, but... he ain't got nothing to talk about no more. So he talking about some. If one, if we had to get rid of somebody on Golden State between Durant, uh, Curry, and Thompson, I'm gonna. Be, I know it's blasphemous, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of. This is Steph Curry out of the three. It, oh, I, that's because they, they already put the word out. That nigga talking about going back to back home. That's what they the stirring this shit up, bro. That nigga already talking about going back to Charlotte. But. Man, Steph Curry ain't going though. <laughs> he ain't going to play for Michael Jordan in the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> He's been throwing that shit out there like he want to go back home. That's what this shit started with. Uh, that's why he came with this shit today. Because the past two weeks he's been talking about, yeah, I wouldn't mind going back playing home. And I'm like, okay, monkey see, monkey do. LeBron went back home. Wade went back home. I just think I want to go back home. <laughs> I'm like, he, if he think he think he want to go back home till he get to that play with the Hornets, be man, they suck. If they, no, if they win, if they win the championship this year, don't surprise. That's all I'm saying. Like, if they win the championship this year, don't surprise. That's all I'm saying. If this dude leave Golden State, it's not only gonna sabotage his career. I mean, his shoe deal then blew up because when nobody buying the Curry's. So, Man, these niggas don't think like that cares. They ain't got no loyalty to them city no more. I'll get two shits about that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So, I just didn't accept it. We're just in a different way with niggas. These niggas don't. And that's what older people just gotta understand. I didn't came to that conclusion. These niggas don't think the way we think. They, they on some other shit. And ain't no point in getting mad about it no more. They stay soft for him. That's this is what it is. Yeah, pretty much. I mean It is what it is now. But yeah, I think I mean, that if he I think he's too big of a star to leave. Like I can see LeBron started off in Cleveland. <laughs> you know, so, so for him to go back is a lot different. But to put Steph Curry on the Charlotte Hornets, that's hey, like a, he ain't that type of player where you could just center the whole game around him and he individually taking over the game. He ain't, they'll take over well, the game. You got to have other people to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> than just him on the court. If it's just him, oh no, they ain't worried about him at all. That ain't how you see it. 
It ain't what they telling you. <laughs> Just think about it. Yeah, motherfuckers arguing that he was the best player in the league for the past two years. So, come on. Yeah, I mean, shoot, they got what? He's the two-time reigning MVP. I mean, he just won that last year again. I mean, the motherfucker can shoot. I ain't gonna take nothing from him. But to say you the best player in the league, you know, you can do is shoot. He got some good handles and he can shoot. But he don't. He don't get a lot of assists. He don't play no D. Yeah. Can't pass. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm like, I mean, he ain't really no point guard. He's just a shooting guard. They just put him in point guard because he's too fucking small to play anywhere else. Yep. And that's why I told him, I'm like, they talking about trading Drake, man. I'm like, that'd be the stupidest thing you ever did. Because he the whole glue to your team. <laughs> I'm like, you, he the one, we the workhorse. He the one getting all the rebounds. <laughs> in there with the red battling centers. The one controlling the rock, making the passes. Don't do much nigga shit, man. You know what time it is. He's fucking up the squeaky clean Roy. They don't need that. You know, he walking around kicking people in the balls. They can't just keep blowing that shit up. I mean, he ain't kicked nobody in the balls since last year. This one guy got kicked in the head accidentally, and then they're going to say... Oh, like oh, yeah. he, he jumped up to kick him in the head. I'm like, he was grabbing the, going up for a shot. And the guy came down. And, yeah, I'm like, it's incidental contact. Man, ain't no damn incidental. That's some testing shit. That's why you like it. Anything ain't got to do no damn spray. No the man just happened to get, I mean, he barely got touched. If anything, he did a nice good flop job, but. He barely got touched. The man went up, grabbed the ball. His foot just, he athletic. His foot just went up there. And nothing to do with anything else. The word is out on him, kid. He's done. He's getting the Dennis Rodman treatment here on that. Oh, yeah. The NBA is really oversensitive about this situation. And I'm like, y'all the one keep, like, I'm like, why y'all keep showing clips of him kicking people in the balls last year? All accidental. (laughs) See, that's what I'm saying. They trying to generate the negative image of them. Yep. So they can justify getting rid of them. I know what they're doing. Yep. And then you're going to see how fast Golden State fall down <laughs> as soon as there's no Draymond. I'm like, they already no, seeing no his suspension. That's why they lost the, the championship. Exactly. Then you got your coach that's out there. Hey, that's I guess he got busted with weed and he had to come out and tell people, yeah, I smoke. So Kerr got over here, he's a pothead, talking about he got some condition. He got to smoke. But everybody's all right with it. I don't. I don't understand that. Yeah, you do, cause he what? <laughs> yeah, cause if they had what's the name brother still on the team, if Mark Jackson came out, I gotta smoke weed, cause I got glaucoma. Well, you gonna have to go. You gonna have to be at home. <laughs> you you can't be on the team no more. <laughs> 